Well, hey guys, uh, it's not a bad evening. Um, we've had rain for the most part of today. Um, it was quite sunny and hot this morning. Um, then come to um, just before dinner time and the heavens opened up, absolutely bucketed it down. Um, not that you'd really be able to tell at the minute because it's, it's nearly bone dry again. Um, just been doing a little bit of harvest. Um, well, I'll take you for a bit of a plot tour in a sec anyway. Um, we're still on that sort of vergy edge type thing. Um, we've got a few things ready. We've got peas com coming. Ha we're harvesting most days for the peas. Uh, we're starting to get some broad beans ready now as well. Um, and a few potatoes here and there, cabbages. We've got a couple of collies that are, are nearly there. Um, and they're just trying to keep them going for another week or so, just to get them on that uh, shady side a little bit bigger. Um, like I say, uh, the beans are nearly there. We're starting to get some beans on um, above, a, above an inch or so big now. Um, so another another week or so you should see those uh, nearly ready for the first picking um, and we'll get to start we can start getting stuff in the freezers then um, two ton sacks are doing great uh, we've lost the monge two peas in there somewhere um, <laughs> we had a sort of a big bit of a dig around and found a couple of plants um, we can just make out a few more plants sticking through while we're sat here. Um, but yeah, yeah, everything's uh, going crazy um, and growing. Um, let's get this, this hair off of here. There we go. That's better. Um, there's plenty of pigeons about. Oh, there's some pigeons there as well. Loads of crows. Um, wheat and barley over there. Probably some laid patches. We should get out and do some pigeon shooting. Stock start stocking the freezer up with uh, with wild meat for the free for the uh, for the winter. But um, I'll take you on a bit of a, a tour. Um, well, I've got a few minutes. Uh, Desiree potatoes doing good. We're gonna we had a harvest from these yesterday. Uh, we pulled a um, we pulled a bag up. Um, they're not doing too badly. Um, we got um, a little basket full. Um, we also pulled the test potato up, which wasn't great. It had started all, it, had, it had finished flowering, died back, and everything, um, and it just really wasn't great. It was about four potatoes that were usable the others had all got splits in them um, and things like that so uh, test potato um, yes you can grow them from the seat from potatoes that you get from the shop but are they any good in our experiment not very um, I think it pays to buy actual proper seed potatoes and uh, Go from there. There are a lot of people do have success growing potatoes from potatoes that they buy from the shop. So you can't argue with those. If they want to do that, they want to do that. If not, they're not. Um, we're going to definitely buy seed potatoes next year. We pulled the two buckets from in the polytunnel. Again, not very good. Um, like I say, there was test potatoes. There was only little fiddly above marble size um, seed potatoes. And off of the one in the bucket, I think we got about four or five, um, just above a, um, the size of the seed potato. And we got about six or seven fairly decent ones out of that that bucket. Um, though there was a little bit wet, so um, if we do them again next year in the polytunnel, um, not so much water. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just have a bit of a tour around. Still got one bag of... Um, Sapo Mira. Um, we pulled a bag um, about a fortnight ago, I think it was, and um, 
they was uh, just starting to produce the little tubers that flowered, finished flowering and were starting to die back, but there was nothing in the bags, um, barely anything to be honest. Um, Maris Pier doing really good, uh, starting to get loads of flowers coming in now, uh, they're starting to fall and everything. Uh, we've got the Monge 2 peas coming, <laughs> climbing up through. So these are going to be going for another couple of weeks anyway, so we should get some Monge 2 peas. Um, Swedes not doing too badly. Um, there's a base of one. There's a base of another one. They're actually not too bad. They're actually, I would maybe check, check them. Well, that's just me. Sweet corn doing good. Tomatoes there doing good. Need to get in and get some steaks up on those now because they're starting to uh, lean over. Sprouts doing good. The little birds are helping us get the uh, uh, caterpillars. Now, touch wood. We haven't had that much problem with caterpillars. It's been slugs this year. Um, well, there you go. Next crop of onions. Doing good. Lone Savoy. Uh, peas have been picking those courgettes absolutely chugging along with the courgettes um, I'm just leaving them on there at the minute because we just we haven't got nothing to do with them at the minute uh, we're taking the male flowers off because um, they're pretty much useless and um, we found um, so started planting more savoy cabbage here beans are just like a wall of green um, now we have got some starting to starting to come on there. Uh, there's, like I say, three or four different varieties. I think the Scarlet Emperor, uh, Enorma, Celebration, Moonlight, um, and one I can't remember what what it was we grew last year. We saved the seeds from. Um, here's a little harvest: two cabbages, some broad beans, and a handful of peas. Though we did pick that green basket there full yesterday from off of there. And we've only just got rid, rid, rid of the peas here. So uh, not too bad there. Uh, took a couple of cabbages from here tonight. Um, the collies are starting to uh, curd up. I think that's how to say it, curd up. Let's see if I can get into this one here, just to show you. Uh, folding the leaves over just to stop the sunlight and everything get to it. There we go. Really good. Um, cauliflower there. And we've got a couple like that in, in here as well. So, um, we've got one here. One there, one there, one in the back, a couple there, another one there. We've got a little one growing in there. <coughs> Broad beans, going great. Little dwarf beans, not doing much at the minute. Um, no, there's still time for those. Uh, onions, these ones are doing absolutely fantastic. Again, touch wood, no bolters here. Um, don't need to show you the carrots around the other side because they haven't done anything other than earlier, last video. Uh, removed all the red onions now. We've got one lone, lone cabbage left here. Um, just letting that finish off. Um, we might take that as a, like a spring cabbage because um, we're going to clear all this patch here and then this is where the second two rows of peas are going. Aaron Pilots. Um, these are going to be moved into the into the polytunnel um, later on. Uh, harvested at Christmas. My nephew's two pouches of or two bags of Aaron pilots. Carrots in a tub. Red onions drying. Got a little cucumber plant there. Um, dwarf one. Uh, tomatoes growing. <laughs> Doing absolutely great, these tomatoes, absolutely chugging on. We removed the, um, as you might have seen from the video, uh, removed the uh, Market Moor cucumber. 
it was just going out of control and it was wasn't the best tasting cucumber that we've we've grown you know out of this one here the fem spot one uh the fit all female one um but what we're getting off of these it absolutely tastes a, a hell of a lot better than the market more whether it's because they were grown inside and not pollinated by um bees or anything i don't know we uh, self-pollinated in here um whether that's the reason i don't know but uh, uh we've got a tomato tree plant it's not looking its best um don't know why um we haven't treated it any other way than what everything else in here has been treated um they're still growing the tomatoes are still growing getting bigger each day nice spider there look um uh, the black and purple cherries the roma's doing great starting to get some nice fruit on the roma now and the beef steak down this end Uh, rhubarb, more cabbages, tomatoes, cucumelons, flower seeds, gooseberry, blueberry, bits and bobs, and pepper in here. Look at that. Uh, yeah, more peppers. I say it's starting to open up with the flowers now. Cucumelon going nuts, loads of flowers on it, loads of fruit on it. It's, uh, Getting up. Melon at the back there. Starting to get little flower spikes on it. Uh, we need to get round the back there and um, weed it up. These are some black black strawberries uh, that we've started off for next year. Uh, tomato there. That's one that we pulled as a, a sucker. It's growing. Uh, little gem lettuces. Um, Starting to heart up now, um, so they should be shouldn't be too long. Rhubarb, um, beetroot, onions, spring onions, celery, acer tree, and then we're back to back to this end. That's about it, really, guys. Uh, these are nicotinia flowers. Nice uh, flowers. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, for this update, anyway. Uh, not a lot really going on. Um, just uh, trying to keep up with uh, planting and harvesting and um, busy with all the things, doctor appointments and everything. So um, I'm trying to get the videos as and when I can. Um, when I get a little bit of time to do, do a video. And I say we've just been pottering about tonight, uh, planting some bits and bobs and harvesting. So I thought sort I'd of jump out and and do a bit of a video and uh, let you know what was going on. Um, just somewhat what I've noticed with the tomatoes um, is the growing the uh, trusses out like this, uh, and some of them are actually sprouting leaves and more flower buds coming off the end. I don't know if that's something that anybody else has noticed or. Or anything, I've never had that. There's, there's a good one with a leaf on it, look. <laughs> um, we're in a really strange year for the tomatoes this year. Don't know why. I haven't tre um, treated them any differently. Uh, apart from them being in the polytunnel. Um, even the ones outside in the uh, in the grow beds are, are pretty much the same. So, um, don't know what's going on there, but... <laughs> there you go. So, anyway guys, that's... Uh, that's it for this update. Um, uh, it could be another couple of weeks before I actually get a chance round to editing videos and things and putting titles back in. So uh, just bear with me, guys, and uh, we'll be back to normality as uh, soon as possible. Cheers for now.